The House comes to questions for oral answer. Question number one, in the name of Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What reports has he received showing a recent lift in business confidence supports an outlook for continuing moderate growth in a more diversified economy? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, uh, yesterday the ANZ published its business outlook survey. Business sentiment continued to improve in November, with 15, net 15 per cent of business being optimistic about the economy for the year ahead. 32 per cent own activity expectations are positive, profit expectations, investment intentions, employment intentions and export intentions all improved. Order. Supplementary question, Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What reports has he received showing strengthening activity in sectors of the economy, besides dairy, is expected to underpin higher growth in 2016? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, the NZIAR quarterly predictions say that stronger activities in sectors of the economy outside dairy, including services, will underpin a pickup in growth towards 3 per cent over 2016. Uh, the current account is expected to stabilise at around 3 to 3.5% 3 over the next four years, well below the record 8% current account back in 2008. And they forecast around 160,000 jobs to be added to the economy over the next five years. So this suggests some confidence in the future of the economy. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What factors does the NZIER point to as supporting increasing diversification in the New Zealand economy? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, the, uh, tourism is now New Zealand's second largest export and at probably at the current rate of growth uh, expected to overtake the dairy industry. Uh, there's been particularly strong growth in uh, interests of international students coming to study in New Zealand, which accounts for accounts for some of the uh, some aspects of the currently very high uh, migration numbers. Supplementary question, Fletcher Tabuto. Uh, thank you, Mr. Order. Speaker. Order. Order. David Bennett will see his interjection across the house. Fletcher Tabuto, supplementary question. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Including Dairy Minister, what reports have you seen on the impact on the future New Zealand business confidence? Should the El Nino drought be as bad as predicted, and what plans are being made? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr. Speaker, I've seen some reports that the uh, the, uh, the prospect of an El Nino induced drought could have a, could have an impact on. Uh, growth rate of the economy. The IMF, who were here recently, uh, forecast it would knock around half a per cent of GDP. Uh, that is, where the economy may have grown at 2.5 per cent, it might end up growing at 2 per cent. Uh, the plans that are being made are being made by the businesses who will be directly affected by it. For instance, farmers may be choosing to destock earlier in the summer. Supplementary question, Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister. What reports has he seen on trends for economic growth in regional New Zealand? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, ANZ re have uh, released its quarterly review of regional trends. Activity rose in eight of the nine North Island regions and four out of the five South Island regions, with the strong ac strongest activity growth occurring in Northland, Auckland, Bay of Plenty, Gisborne and Otago. Uh, and particularly pleasing to see Northland and Gisborne showing some signs of uh, strong growth. Economic activity increased 0.3 per cent in the last quarter in the North Island, taking it to 3.1 per cent for the year and 0.9 per cent in the South Island. All these are forward-looking indicators suggesting a solid pace of expansion will be sustained in most regions. Question number two, Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question